Hey, what's happening, St. Vincent? Back here with a, another video. And today, I want to talk to you about the scarlet bush. And uh, it's an evergreen plant uh, that grows, that um, fruits and flowers all throughout the year. And um, it has a lot of medicinal benefits. Um, there's actually studies Studies been done um, to prove um, that um, it has merit, has truth in its traditional uses. All right, so this is a small plant, but what we really want to get to is that one down there, that big one down there. And now, as you would see, I'm in the bushes right now, and I'm trying to clear a way to get to where that is. And um, this is another useful plant, also. Um, still haven't been able to find out the, the name of this one, but. I know uh, it's in the same family as Crotons flavins, um, but i um, still trying to figure out what the name of it is and um, its benefits, but I use it a lot, I've been using it a lot, using it quite a lot, because I found it growing um, right next to the Crotons flavins, but anyways, like I said, um, I really want to try to get down here. All right. Get up close to this scarlet bush. Uh, yeah, almost there. Let's get over here. Yeah, so here it is. Scarlet bush. Yeah. Also called hummingbird bush because um, this plant is known to attract hummingbirds and butterflies, and um, quite a useful plant to add um, to any garden okay it um, can be found in um, Florida down to Central America South America and uh, the Caribbean also called redhead Mexican firecracker see um, the orange to yellow flowers I was there. Let me pull this down. And uh, like I said, it has so many benefits. Uh, a friend of mine was in Jamaica. Um, he had this plant. He had his plant up, posted it on his um, page, and he was asking, you know, what is this? He found it in his garden. So I said, that's scarlet bush. And um, he asked me to use it. So I said, um, I'll get back to you on that. I'll do some research do some reading so um i'll let him know that i did a video because i told him i would do a video on it so um in brazil no sorry in mexico the fruits which at first turn from green to yellow to dark the the fruits can be used to make a fermented fermented drink or wine and um, in the Caribbean, the, the fruits, the syrup from the fruits are used to, to treat dysentery. And um, there have been studies which have proven um, the, validi the validity of its uh, traditional uses. Um, in, um, they did a study in, in rats which showed... Um, it has anti-hypoglycemic benefits used to treat diabetes. The Mayans, they call it Z-Canon, which means guardian of the forest. And um, in Brazil, they, they also chew the leaves. When um, they're working in the fields, they use um, the leaves to, to give their, their body a, a good cooling. It can cool down the body. So... It's also febrifuge. It can be used to lower the body's temperature when you have fevers. Okay, you can use the leaves to make an infusion. Leaves are used to make a decoction. Even the roots can be used to make a decoction. It um, also is very popular use in um, aiding skin issues. It can remedy remedy skin issues. 
yeah sores and from 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 what i read because i did i did a lot of reading on this from from what i read um in um <clears throat> south america traditional medicine their medical systems there in south america central central america um you can use the pomegranate and guava leaves and along with this to treat sores so as a wide range of benefits for for the skin can be used topically it is antibacterial it is anti-inflammatory analgesic it can be used for for menstrual cramps and also as i said can be used to treat dysentery anti it's anti-tumor and um the the range of benefits man it's it's, it's, it's so, so so wide you know scarlet bush i mean we have I have this bush right here we you know we hardly know anything about it but now now you're getting that that knowledge now you know that this plant can be used as a lot of medicinal benefits okay i'm not seeing any of the berries here I'll show you the darkened um darkened berries which, um, like I said, um, this plant attracts hummingbirds and, um, and butterflies, which aid in poly pollination. So there's it, scarlet, scarlet bush. Okay, it can also be used to treat headaches, sores. Okay, inflammation. It's anti-tumor, menstrual cramps, fevers. Can be used to treat rheumatism. List of um, benefits, medicinal benefits, are quite wide, quite diverse. So there it is, scarlet bush. Thanks again for watching.